We arrive at the surgery long before we open up the doors to the public. There's a lot of work to do, even before the first appointment of the day. Urgent queries from the out of hours service, discharge summaries, bloods and other test results that have been sent overnight from the lab. I can hear the phones at reception are ringing non-stop, like they do every morning. Looking at my list, I can see I have a full clinic all day, with several extras fitted in. Face-to-face -face consultations are available, but if you feel comfortable having a telephone or video consultation, rather than seeing a doctor face-to-face, -face, then this really does help us. Especially if we have staff that need to work remotely, which has been far more common during the pandemic. As soon as the phone lines open at 8am, a queue builds up with people wanting to book an appointment or finding out if there's been any cancellations. We know that our patients are calling because they need our help and not being able to answer the phones as quickly as we would really like does make us feel pressured. Most people are great and very understanding, but sometimes frustrations boil over when they are in pain or feeling unwell. It is very helpful if patients are comfortable using online technologies to contact their practice, to book appointments and to order their prescriptions online. This is my second home visit of the morning and I will see several more patients at their homes through the day. We cover quite a large area, so we can spend a lot of time travelling between patients. A lot of people we visit have complex care needs and visiting them to discuss their options can be helpful in avoiding an unplanned hospital admission by arranging for them to be cared for at home. We frequently speak with our community colleagues such as district nurses, hospice at home team and the long term conditions team to ensure that our patients are well supported at home. All practices in Morecambe Bay provide home visits for patients who need face to face care but are unable to get into surgery. Our home visiting service is vital for those who are in greatest need of our help. We need to continue to reserve this service for those who are physically unable to leave the house. It's approaching lunchtime. I've seen my 15 appointments this morning. I've still got about 45 prescription requests to go through and sign off. I've got about a dozen lab reports to process. These often result in a couple of extra phone calls, which I'll take care of over lunch. More often than not, you'll find a patient has a number of reasons for booking an appointment, and we need to get to the bottom of all of those issues. Since the pandemic, we've had an increase in phone and video consultations. We've found that quite a lot of appointments can be speeded up if the patient sends a photo of any rashes, spots or affected areas for us to review in advance. It's really simple to do and it means that there is a shorter wait for people in the waiting room. Please do use technology to help us in this way if you are asked to do so and feel comfortable with this. Lots of my appointments this afternoon will take more than their allocated 15 minutes. After surgery, I'll catch up on my paperwork, mainly hospital letters and blood results, as well as some queries from patients. I usually leave work at around 7pm, saying goodnight to the cleaners as I get things ready for tomorrow morning. Please remember that while GP practices are under pressure at the moment, we are here for you when you need us. Following some of the advice on this video will help us to help you. Thank you for watching this video and for supporting local general practice in Morecambe Bay. And please remember, be kind. Thank you.